out. With that being said, I feel like the DL community is growing rapidly by the motherfucking day. We need a motherfucking exterminator. We need a motherfucking gay test. Bitch, we need a motherfucking... Y'all know how they have a diamond tester? Big, 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 bitch, you like dick. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, bitch. I need to walk in the room and be like... That bitch suck a dick. Uh-huh, bitch, try again. What's going on, insane gang? Says it's me back in another fucking video, bitch. As you can see from the title, this is back again one of my ranting videos. I have not made a ranting video in so long. Talking my shit about how I feel about a certain specific topic. But I feel like this is like an up and coming thing that really needs to be spoken about because the DL community is growing by the second, by literally the millisecond, like five or six niggas probably turn out a day. In this new generation, we have the internet, which makes people more connected. We have apps like Jack and Grinder and, and Bumble and Huff and whatever the fuck people be using to get their shit cracked. We have a increase in a lot of these DL men getting their life, you know, get on these apps, sneaking and freaking, you know, texting people, trying to, you know, get their nut off. You know, it, it, it is what it is. It's 2022, we grown. I feel like the motherfucking DL community is hindering us as gay people and setting us back, taking us back 50 steps back when we trying to move 60 steps forward. We got stuff like Pose. We got stuff like Legendary. We got stuff like um, fucking trans women getting on TV shows and doing these big things. And we still got you motherfuckers groveling in the deep, dark shadows trying to get your motherfucking one, your two, because you're too much of a bitch. To come out and try to be who the fuck you is. I'm sorry, and I, I'm not. I'm not. And, and then people gonna try to call me party coffee and be like, oh, not everybody can, um has the resources to be who they want to be, and you know some people have stuff with their family, and that's fine. And if you feel like you're in that situation where you feel like you can't be who you are yet, don't go and fucking bother the next bitch that's out here, you know, living and thriving and being a motherfucking self because you are, you know, not in a situation where you can be yourself. And I understand that some people do that, but don't knock people's femininity or masculinity and make people have to be a certain standard just because that's what's you know appealing to you just for real respect like come into contact with a lot more dl men not like you know on a one and a talk center basis but just like you know having the apps and you know like me being a cute ass bitch and even just getting cute and recruited by the motherfucking day like dudes will literally come at you like oh i like your outfit and i like how you dress and stuff like that like and y'all know i'm a dressed ass bitch like i dress very androgynous i bear i give you bitch a nice polo with a little flower you know a little floral pan, you know, something very, you know, mix it up. Or I'll give you a motherfucking leather skirt and a motherfucking mesh shirt and come and fuck the girls up because the bitch, the body always don't give. Anyways, people would tell me like, oh, I like how you dress, um, gay, but I, I would rather you only dress like that in the bedroom. I already only dress, you dress like that around me, but outside you gotta act like a no. Who are, who do y'all think y'all is? Like, why do the DL people feel like they can, like, Imp like implement and give a fucking input on what the fuck gay people is doing like and it's really weird because like if you cannot openly be a gay person you cannot speak on gay topics love it's like i don't know what the fuck is up like the dl community really feel like it's it's like we the best we the best of the gay community like we fucking we stuck on the low and we never get caught we never talk about it but we still homies and bros and that's just how it's supposed to be bitch what what Woo, what? I understand y'all were doing this for since back in the day, but it's a new era now and being gay is like an open thing. I don't need your weak, dirty ass mindset trying to tell me that I, it's, it's better for me to be a certain level of masculinity or femininity or like, you know, some DL dudes only attracted to trans women and that's fine. But you're not gonna come tell me, oh, I think you should wear a wig because um, I just think that's sexy. Did, bitch, shut up. Worry about, worry about coming out the closet. Before you try to speak on the next bitch and well, how the fuck they should live their life when you're not even living your life. Like, and that's why I'm saying, making this video, DL men are the, the fucking roaches of the gay community. Y'all literally sit at the fucking bottom and collect all the scraps of the gay people that will literally be desperate enough to fuck with y'all. Because y'all know y'all fucking gay as fuck. All the gays know, bitch, y'all not gonna be go wipe no DL nigga knowing damn well he got fat kids. Bitch, he still my fucking doing the same shit he been doing since he was a motherfucking teenager, not making no motherfucking move, asking you for money, but you up here sucking and fuck on this broke ass nigga, make him feel like he's somebody, and now he feel like he can, he's obligated to, you know, speak on certain shit, cause he feel like he that nigga. I really, really want my girls 
and I'm talking to the gays now. I really want my girls. Stop giving these niggas so much life, jumping in back seats and sucking dick and, and hopping on hopping in Ubers and shit to go see a nigga that don't even give no fuck about you. That nigga ain't gonna put no motherfucking bread in your pocket. It's like a, the DL community is like bigger than the fucking gay community now. Like y'all ass is really out and about living freely, like feeling like, oh, we just gonna fucking sneak and fuck on the low and never gonna get caught. And that's just that it is what it is. That's just how it's gonna be. Like, no, cause y'all putting motherfucking y'all girls in jeopardy, y'all motherfucking making motherfucking gay people feel lesser because they feel like now they got a fucking sneaker freak and had around with your ass in order to feel some type of love connection when that's not the fucking case. We are, we bitch, we cute as fuck. The gay community is big as fuck. It's so many fat ass, out ass, bitch, durable ass gay men in the community. I wouldn't say it's too many because y'all be tweaking too. Y'all be giving them the motherfucking, giving them their life where they feel like they can speak on us and talk, on, and talk down upon us. Like the gay community be so bad. Like how can you lay down with a nigga that, that can't even, Defend you in public Like if, if his homies Get to treat your ass And y'all just outside Like he can't even say shit And they make you feel good Like sis Like you are better than that love You are way motherfucking better than that And it ain't nothing that happened That made me come in Like no DL nigga was Trying to talk to me And like made me feel something And I'm like oh bitch I'm gonna go make a video No like I literally Am feeling like The DL community Is starting to get uh, Really really big And it's like It's like an epidemic now Like y'all motherfuckers Is like roaches Like it's time to exterminate You hoes I understand that You got your homies And your family And all this other shit But at the end of the day baby it's 2022 like do what the fuck you gotta do if you feel like your motherfucking family ain't gonna fuck with you because you're not gonna live some way bitch save the fuck up and move the fuck out if i was with my motherfucking family and when i was growing up they didn't support me like my dad he came around when i was like older my mom was very supportive ever since i was little but at the end of the day bitch i made sure i had my own at the end of the day like i made sure i had my own motherfucking platform my own motherfucking brand my own motherfucking job so if anything needs to shake a move bitch i get the fuck from where i gotta go you out here asking bitches and um and niggas trans trans bitches that asking um gay boys so motherfucking fast six dollars for gas and y'all give it to their ass like Stop supporting these weak ass niggas and make them take accountability for what they like and what they doing and get the fuck up and, and, and say that shit with their chest. You will get on motherfucking live with all the guns. You the roughest, toughest nigga. You will get on live flashing all the jewelry or you or you the you the flash motherfucker running, but you can't fucking talk about your sexuality comfortably. That just make you a bitch in my ass. I'm sorry. And I and I wanna make this video and I don't give a fuck who mad about it, cause I'm gonna say what the fuck I wanna say. I feel like DL men are bitches. Y'all some bitches, y'all some hoes. Like that's why I always fight straight niggas sometimes, cause it be like, y'all be so fucking and be scary as fuck the whole time. Like being a big nigga. Popping your chest out, I mean, you don't give a fuck about what nobody say. Period. No, not your mama, not your motherfucking homies, not anybody. You gonna do what the fuck you wanna do at the end of the day, and you a savage, but you a, you, you a motherfucking bandit. You gonna do what the fuck you wanna do, but at the end of the day, you're not. So, I mean, everything you doing is a facade because at the end of the day, you're a bitch. So, be a bitch. Don't, don't, don't pop your chest out and act like you so motherfucking tough and you, and you, and you will do what you want when you want and you move shit how you move shit. But when it come down and you laying down, you really wish you was laying with a nigga and you too fucking much of a bitch to get up and say that. So, with that being said, I feel like the DL community is growing rapidly by the motherfucking day. We need a motherfucking exterminator. We need a motherfucking gay test. Bitch, we need a motherfucking, y'all know how they have a diamond tester? Big, 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 big bitch you like dick. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, bitch. I need to walk in the room and be like, That bitch suck a dick. Suck a dick ain't your boy. Stop fucking playing because y'all know if, if something like that came out, baby, it would be over for the girl. I'm not saying, you know, people should be out there. And I'm not saying, you know, everybody should come out just because I say so. I'm just saying, if you're a DL person, you cannot speak on gay topics. Just like if you're a white person, you can't speak on motherfucking black topics. So when I see niggas that's like low key freaking and sneaking and sucking dick on social media comment on, on on voices like oh what the fuck is this what the fuck he on this, that shit weird as fuck but whole time yo ass is out here fucking like how can you what the fuck how can you how, how do those two come together when you feel like you can fuck but then also hate at the same time that's weird so I'ma just say all this toxic ass masculinity that y'all excluding and exuding, I'ma need my gay girl to stop allowing that shit. Stop allowing these niggas to do you like how they doing you. To first of all, for 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 first off, if that nigga not give you no motherfucking money, I don't even know why you talking to these guys. 
And that's just me coming from a bitch like me. I'm sorry. If a nigga not, you know, up in no bread, taking me somewhere, doing something that's gonna, you know, pertain to elevate my career, you just a fuck at the end of the day, and bitch, I could be my me. Fuck you talking about. That's the motherfucking video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, y'all. Follow me on social media, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat, what we doing. What the fuck I want to do, because I'm a real ass nigga at the end of the day. Um, make sure y'all streaming my new um, motherfucking single merch on all platforms. The link will be below. Um, with that being said, if y'all see a DL nigga, run up on him, please, for me. Because this is like, turn the tables a little bit. Like, y'all remember back in the day when they used to, like, jump, you know, the, the gay boy at the school and, like, beat his ass and stuff. Like, let's start beating their ass. Because, like, y'all y'all literally will be a part of the crowd that used to beat us up, and then y'all want to fuck us behind closed doors. Ah, it's 22 too, baby. Pick it the fuck up. That's the motherfucking video. And stay gang, since we out. Ah.